Now we have an inspiring story for you. A 17-year-old Indian student, Agastya Sinha, has received global recognitions for his learning programs. Agastya launched the Cloud Canvas platform, which aims to change the way students learn science. The teenager has received global recognition, such as the prestigious Diana Award and being shortlisted among the top 100 global education innovations by 100. And his platform, Cloud Canvas, today is used by over 14,000 learners across seven countries. We have none other than Agastya Sena who's joining us live in the studio right now. Thanks very much Agastya for being with us and for as long as I can remember I wasn't doing anything close to what you were doing at the age of 17 so it's truly inspiring. So tell us something about what really motivated you to create this learning platform. Were there any challenges that you faced that you wanted to combat? Definitely. Thank you so much for that exceedingly generous introduction. I'd like to say that I've devoted my short 17 years worth of experience on this earth purely to learning sciences and it all started a couple years back when I myself was truly struggling with my own learning challenges. I tried my hardest, I'd put hours and hours and hours of effort into anything and everything I could, but for some reason I just wasn't seeing those grades and even more than that, education and learning was not a fulfilling experience to me. And this was despite the exceeding support I got from the faculty at my school, from my parents. For some reason, there was something missing in my learning journey that caused me to kind of lag behind. And that's why two and a half or so years ago, I started my journey to try to figure out what can I do to be the most efficient and effective learner possible. And that's why I created an, a learning platform called the Cloud Canvas and a learning curriculum called Learn to Learn so that you can be the most efficient and effective learner possible. So tell us about this platform you've created and the Learn to Learn module. How is it really different from the conventional uh, modules that students usually follow and how did they really help you combat your challenges? Definitely. So I think the most imperative thing we have to understand before delving into that is why exactly learning? So it doesn't really matter what you do, whether you want to be a mathematician, a physicist, a chemist or a philosopher. At the heart of every pursuit in life is the act of learning, is the act, the acquisition of knowledge. So now that we know that learning is such an integral element through all aspects of our life, how come no one really sits us down and says, hey, this is how you should really learn. That's the entire thought process that went towards creating this course. So that I could teach you and garner all the secondary resources that I've used to tell you how to be the most efficient and effective learner possible. So tell us something about your courses and how are they different from, let's say, what people study, what students study in their CBSE or ICSE books? What's different about your courses and your platform? Definitely. So, so what I found is that small learning techniques like space repetition, metacognition and deep concentration are so rarely touched upon in our traditional curriculums. No one really places emphasis on the process of being this efficient learner. No one really has ever sat me down and said, hey Gus, yeah, to be the most effective learner, you should use the lightness system so you can employ space repetition in your own studies. So you're basically teaching students how they should learn. Definitely. How, the most important thing that I found is how can you couple theory and application? Because from my personal experience as a student, as a 12th grade student, if you hand us a piece of theory, it's great. But how do you really apply it? So that's the main point in my course. I present you a theory of why a concept works that's proven all across the world and more importantly, an application. So tell us, Agastya, how many students use your platform across which countries and tell us where do you see it going forward from here on? Let's say over the next five years, what's your future plan for Cloud Canvas and for your future learning missions? Definitely. I've been very fortunate to be acknowledged by countless organizations, by the N50, which is a global collective organization in the US. I've had the chance to speak at the Global Adobe Education Summit and I've received the Diane Award and been shortlisted as a top 100 ed techs by a Finnish organization known as 100. So the most important thing that I've found is, though I have 14,000 users on my platform, how can I really change the way India learns? How can I make sure each and every student across India, whether you're in North India or South India, has access to these learning techniques that aren't traditionally touched upon? And that's why my goal is to get this up onto one of the government, the leading government of India's educational, uh, educational platform known as Diksha. So hopefully in uh, a few months, I can show the, showcase this platform to 170 million students all across India and 7 million teachers. 
So, Gasya, as a final question to you and uh, to just encapsulate your inspiring journey that it has been till now, already you've gotten so many recognitions and you've so such uh, inspiring future plans for your programs. But tell us that what have you learned about learning that you want to change for students in India? How we learn is through books, through, through textbooks, through articles we read online, through our classes. But how does your Learn to Learn program change how people really learn? It's just all about putting emphasis on these traditionally non-touched upon elements. How can we use interactive flashcards, some specific note-taking methods to truly transform the way we learn so that you're not just a more effective learner, but you genuinely find the learning experience to be a more fulfilling one. Agassya, thanks very much for joining us and sharing your inspiring story with us. We wish you all the best for all your future goals, for your platform and for your career ahead as well. You're just 17 years old and already so many recognitions. Way to go. Thanks very much for joining us, Agastya. Thank you so much. It's been a privilege.